This week on Supercars Talk, we've finally got a calendar for next year. It's the final round of the year and I'm wearing another Nike t-shirt. The big news this week is that HRT or Walkinshaw and Andretti United and Triple Eight will be running special Holden Tribute liveries this weekend. Um, because I'm filming this on a Sunday, they'll probably release them uh, late on Monday, so uh, that'll stuff up my Tuesday release. Uh, but we're used to that now. Uh, I, I'm, I'm actually I'm kind of excited about the Walkinshaw one because they have a really great back catalogue of you know special Holden Racing Team liveries uh, there. I'm, I'm hoping kind of um, they have done it before but hoping that they'll go back to that kind of black and white uh, original livery that the uh, team ran back in the day not sure what Triple uh, Eight will go with whether you know they go back to kind of a Holden dealer team thing like they have in the past or whether maybe they just try and go back to one of their previous um, Red Bull liveries something like that um, but yeah it's just a little bit of excitement for the final round there uh, some liveries to actually get excited about instead of you know what's Macaulay Jones wearing this weekend uh, which is actually a TRG Transport one. Um, we've seen that previously at the Bend. Uh, obviously, there must be a um, Adelaide or you know South Australian company because I I don't see any TRG Transport around in um, Melbourne, and um, I, I travel around a lot, so I do get to see uh, a fair bit of that kind of stuff. Um, the the actual big news this week, though, the 2023 calendar is finally released. Uh, a lot of people were. I, on, on Bookface and things like that, uh, we're very concerned that the calendar wasn't out yet. Uh, we did know where a lot of the rounds were. I, th I suppose it was the finer details on some of the smaller rounds. Um, like we knew where Newcastle was, we knew kind of Adelaide and Gold Coast, Bathurst, things like that. Um, the big thing, Sandown 500 is back. Uh, I'd, I'd heard quite a while ago that there definitely would be, uh, especially Sandown back next year, um, but you, you know, there would be two Enduros. Um, very happy that it is Sandown. Um, but just a, a quick run through the calendar first. Uh, round one, we start off at Newcastle in uh, March. Albert Park, March. Uh, round three, Barbagello, uh, that's at the end of April. Simmons Plains is round four, uh, middle of May. Hidden Valley, um, June, middle of June. Townsville, uh, start of July. Eastern Creek, end of July. The Bend, uh, middle of August. Sandown 500, middle of September. Bathurst, uh, start of October. Gold Coast, end of October. And uh, at finishing off Adelaide in the end of October. Uh, so I just wanted to point out, not the actual dates, but kind of when they were, because in general, we seem to have a three week gap between the rounds. Um, that kind of gives it a little bit of momentum. But then uh, Gold Coast, and then Adelaide, we once again have a four week gap, which that is too long at that end of the season. I've been, you know, people at work and things like that are kind of, you know, oh, now that F1's over, what are you, well, there's still a supercars round to go, you know, in two weeks time at the time of having those conversations. And um, people, oh, Oh, I didn't realise we had another round of that to go. Um, I, I don't think Shane Van Gisbergen winning the championship early has helped that, but with such a big gap at this time of year, as things are kind of finishing up, I think um, a lot of people have kind of forgotten about it. This is where um, big notables missing from the calendar, of course. There's there's no New Zealand round. Um, yeah, that that's a bit sad. I can kind of understand. Hopefully it'll be back for 2024. Uh, yeah, there's a bit of work to do there. It's not quite as straightforward as, um, you know, some of the Australian rounds that we go to where you can slot them on and off. Um, but I'm disappointed. Uh, only 12 rounds and then no Winton or Queensland Raceway. A lot of people complaining about no Phillip Island. To me, Winton and Queensland Raceway are a lot more important than Phillip Island, uh, mainly because they actually get crowds at both those races. Um, they're the testing tracks for it. Um, yeah, they, they just feel a very big, in my mind, they feel a very big gap um, in, in the market there. Maybe with Gen 3, the cars will race a lot better and Phillip Island will be a much better circuit for the racing. Um, but generally, I'd, Phillip Island, brilliant circuit, but the racing, not brilliant there. So um, I'd, I would I would have thought, you know, slot in, say, a Winton in between Gold Coast and Adelaide, keep that momentum going with the news cycle because uh, it's... 
it's really died off. Even like you notice it on you know Speed Cafe, Motorsport.com, and things like that. The news stories have really um, dropped off. Obviously, you know we'll, we'll get a bit of a boost at the start of this week with people doing their previews and things like that and the special liveries coming out for the final hold and round and that um, but I just I'd, I'd prefer to see a bit more momentum and of course um, I, I personally think around that 14-15 rounds is probably enough um, I think F1 is getting a little bit too saturated I think they should be more 20-21 maybe 22 at the max this 23-24 it's, it's getting like every second weekend for the whole year um, IndyCar, they do things very well. I think they could probably put in one or two more rounds, but they're at 17. So I think for our domestic series, if we could aim for that 14, 15, maybe 16, um, that that fills in a good portion of the year and you get a bit of momentum there. Um, they, they have spread it out nicely, but would... <sighs> With Gen 3 coming in and everything's supposed to be, I think we should be aiming more for that every two weeks. Um, in general, obviously, things aren't going to quite line up perfectly all the way through, but then you, you just get a bit of consistency through that middle of the year while you're trying to watch the sport. Um, but yeah, down in the comments, <laughs> let me know, um, where, where would you like to see more rounds? I'm, I'm assuming no one wants to see less rounds. Where, where do you think kind of the limit is? Um, yeah, and which, which is the round that missed out that um, you, you would be the most uh, excited to see come back on. Uh, me, it's Winton. Uh, generally, the racing is very good there, and it is kind of close to home for me. Um, the Queensland Raceway second, um, New Zealand. I'd, I can't. I can't make up my mind. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, we have some racing this weekend, Adelaide. So the last time we raced at Adelaide was the final round before. Um, everything changed in the world and yeah that that was the normal round at the start of 2020 and then the whole world changed uh, so the um, the wins were shared between Wink Up won the opening race uh, McLaughlin won the second um, the rest of the weekend uh, we did see Mostert, Van Gisbergen and Waters all on the podium um, McLaughlin was the one who stood on there twice uh, his second and a first I think it was um, this was the final weekend of racing for 23 Red Racing. Um, they obviously, when the world changed, they took their bat and ball and went home. Um, and this was also the weekend where James Courtney did his one round with Techno Team Sydney. Um, my predictions for the weekend, it's very hard to see anyone beating Shane Van Gisbergen, um, but I, we kind of can assume that the normal, the, the normal protagonists Mostert, Waters, Reynolds will be there taking the fight. Um, I think Mostert will have a little bit of motivation there for the final round for Holden ever um, in supercars, obviously. Um, they'll, they'll be racing in Super 2 and that next year. Uh, but I think Mostert, just to you know, kind of take that final Holden win back to the traditional home of um, yeah, HRT back in Clayton, I think that there'll be a little bit of extra motivation there for him. And if anyone is going to take that final fight or take a win away from Shane. Um, I, I'm going to tip Mostert, but yeah, down in the comments, I'll let me know what you think. Um, bit of a health update, just generally getting better day by day. Um, I was told medication would take at least two weeks to kick in. It, it is going a little bit up and down, um, but I've even week and a half in now, I am definitely seeing an improvement with the medication. So um, that's all good. Thanks once again for all the well wishes. Um, enjoy the final round on the weekend. And until next time, I'm still Dave and I'll catch you later.